The techniques with these are also relatively similar than empty hand fighting. Simply just like blocking punches. In this video, I'm going to be talking all about the Red Oak Tomfa we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm going to be talking a little bit about their history and origins. I'm going to be talking about who trains with them, why you'd want to train with these. And at the end, I'm going to put together a short montage of people training with Tomfa. Hi, my name is Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 34 years and I've been the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 17 years. If you like this video, click the little icon, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the Red Oak Tomfa we have for sale at Enzo. So Tomfa are now mostly associated with Okinawa martial arts and it's kind of Japanese kobudo, which is like you'd say sort of farming weapons, peasant weapons, things like that. So that's where they mainly are known for existing in these days and when everyone thinks of Tomfa they usually think of Japanese martial arts, especially Okinawa martial arts. However, the history is pretty unclear and there's quite a lot of this style of weapons that has a bit of a sort of unknown history. Now, a lot of people now, sort of the common thought of where these have come from is that it was a millstone handle for like grinding up like rice, making it into flour and whatever. And you know, it would just be the handle and someone rip it off the mill and then like start bashing someone if the village got attacked or if a scuffle happened or whatever. So that's kind of where their thoughts come from. However, you know, I don't think that's so true anymore. Like the, the Chinese also have similar weapons and they do come from Thailand as well, Indonesia, there's similar weapons. Now, their name for them is called crutch. So you do see in Shaolin, you do see like the crutch forms and they're very, very similar. They have this kind of shape. Some of them are longer, so they are used sort of as a, as a walking stick or a crutch. And they're used in martial arts and it's quite easy to see how that would kind of evolve and travel over time to different countries to be used and end up as Tomfa. You do also see other weapons that have a very similar shape that may have in the past been tied to the actual forearm and used just as a way of protecting that arm while fighting. So yeah, lots of different theories. People looking at histories will obviously know way more about it than me, but it seems to be that, yeah, this type of weapon probably evolves separately from, from each other because it does make practical sense to have something like this protecting your forearms if you're fighting. So, and if it comes from a walking stick or a millstone or a broken chair or whatever, then it, you know, it makes sense that you could pick it up and fight with it. The techniques with these are also relatively similar than empty hand fighting. So if you did see something like a millstone handle and pick it up, it could be pretty quick to convert that type of weapon and then using it in the same way that you'd fight without your hands. You'll see a lot of forms, and actually I'll add some in in the montage a bit later. You'll see forms where they are empty hand forms, and people are literally just holding Tomfa, using them in the same way. And karate lends itself very well to this. Simply just like blocking, you know, you've got a nice sort of protective layer between whatever's being hit towards you and your forearm. You know, punches can still work with the butt on the end. You know, you can still move all your hands like you would if you were fighting with fists. But obviously the blocking part of it is the main bit. Now there are other techniques that you can do in terms of spinning and whatnot. You know, if you were spinning that, it will be quite hard to give someone a good tonk with that, but it's still gonna hurt them. Um, so yeah, being able to spin around is quite useful. You also do see people holding them on the top like this. Uh, I'm not sure about that. It doesn't seem to make as much sense as holding them like below your fists as it were. But yeah, like I said, quite easy to convert. Quite a good weapon to pick up if you're new to weapons. Quite a simple one to start with. So I'll just show you a few of the features. Now, you know, it is, it is kind of two sticks blended together. So there's not a huge amount of features, but these ones at Enzo Martial Arts are made out of red oak. Now, red oak's a super popular material. It's probably the most common material to make Japanese weapons, but also some Chinese weapons as well. So it is relatively cheap and pretty durable. So it's quite a good material to make weapons out of. 
being readily available also makes it makes it quite um, quite appealing for the for the manufacturers making them. Now you get you do get different types of tomfer. You get ones that are all square. You get some octagonal ones, but these ones have a nice square bit where the handle is set in. You know, and it's a nice sort of full length grip handle with a with a sort of knobby bit on the end and you and it's really square where that handle sets in and then it tapers down to being circular on one end and quite soon after the handle tapers to being circular at the other end now this is pretty standard they're pretty much always going to be like this now this one's set in sometimes they go all the way through to the end sometimes they don't um, but you know you do get slight different bits of variation you might not get the, the the curves out of these but if there is variation we will update the pictures on the website so the pictures on the website hopefully will be the one that you get if there are any variations we will contact you if you bought it online and show you what the differences are but these tom for a pretty standard they're pretty much the same from our suppliers all the time so yeah it's pretty much going to be like this I mentioned earlier a few different styles that train with these. The most common is going to be like the, the Okinawan, Okinawan stars. So something like Gojuru, which has really got roots tied in with, with the Okinawan stars, is going to be training with these. And you know, karate in general, you are going to get people picking up Tonfa because like I said before, the forms sort of work very well with Tomfa. So a lot of the techniques you're learning karate will work very well with Tomfa immediately. So it's quite easy for Karateka to see how, how Tomfa can work. You, the other styles you do see them being used in Shaolin, like not exactly like this, but these would work very well. The crutch weapons are much, much harder to get. So maybe a pair of Tomfa for the Shaolin guys would at least get you started training with those forms not anywhere near as commonly used as they are in in the karate styles but they're probably the two ones where you'll see tomfa or a similar weapon being used so i'll just give you a few ideas of dimensions now you can get these in two different lengths you can get 18 inch and 20 inch now i have actually seen them in 24 inch as well pretty much everyone that buys them at enzo martial arts wants them in 20 inch that seems to be the definite standard you can see now people say that tomfa should come up to the end of your elbow now you can see for me this is slightly longer for me i'm a relatively average sort of build sort of 5'9 so you the the common sort of length theory says that i should have an 18 inch but no one wants the 18 inch very very difficult to sell the 20 inch is definitely the standard and that's what we sell at enzo so yeah just having a look at the dimensions like i said they are exactly 20 inches long and in terms of diameter around around each end it's about 30 millimeters three centimeters something like that and just having a look at the weight each one weighs about 350 grams so yeah 700 grams for the pair and it is worth noting they do come as a pair which is a very important piece of information so at Enzo Martial Arts, we like to think that we've got a pretty good selection of Japanese Kabuto style weapons. So as well as the Red Oak Tomfa, we also have Red Oak Hammer and Black Oak Tomfa, Metal Hammer, Red and White Oak Hambo. And counted them up yesterday, we do 22 different types of nunchaku, including these round wooden nunchaku. We do a whole range of different bow staffs, including red oak, white oak, and this tapered bow staff. So as promised at the beginning of the video, here's a short montage of people training with Top Fun.
Thanks very much for watching. I hope it was useful. I hope you learned loads about the Renault Tonfer we have for sale at Enzo. If you like this video, click the little icon and subscribe to this channel. Get all the latest videos from Enzo Martial Arts. Thanks very much, and I'll see you soon. Cheers!